stuff we got. The best NFL memes of the year. Now, if you want more MMG videos, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Legends, the 23-2024 NFL season has come to a close. And every single week, we have been blessed with some absolutely incredible NFL memes. So, I thought I would put together a little compilation of my absolute favorite memes from this season. We're actually going to start right here. This was posted about an hour before the NFL season debut, which was Chiefs versus Detroit Lions. Mahomes choke plus Lions week one upset. I will love it. I will love it. And I think I deserve it. And I think I deserve it. <laughs> Which did age very, very well, considering like the Lions won 21 to 20. Jared Goff like versus Patrick man. Mahomes part two. <laughs> hey! Travis Kelsey, I practiced the one year I drafted. <laughs> Yo, he was no. pretty good this season too, but honestly, tight ends were pretty weak this season in fantasy football, that's for sure. Just in general, it wasn't a good year for tight ends. Let me know, y'all. We can have like a fantasy football thing. Can I do that with my subscribers? Is that a way to do that? Let me know in the comments. Cause that'd be nice, bro. I don't I don't play fantasy football. I think I did like once with my friends uh, back in the day. Uh, but I definitely forgot how to do it. Uh, so I, it'd be nice though if we all can have like a little fantasy draft. You know what I'm saying? That'd be nice. That'd Sam be nice. Laporta was a dog. I think Sam Laporta might have been tight on one, actually. Chris Jones seeing Nick Bosa sign an extension in time. I think Sam Laporta might have been tight on one. Of actually. Chris Jones seeing Nick Bosa sign an extension in time to play week one. Is it possible to learn this power? <laughs> I forgot they didn't have Chris Jones. And it clearly didn't matter. They lost the first game of the season on the Super Bowl, whatever. Nick Bosa becomes the highest paid defensive player in NFL history. Price went up. <laughs> Yesterday's price is not today's price. <laughs> Chiefs, are you ready to sign this extension and play tonight? I don't really feel like it. Whatever. He didn't feel like playing and he won a Super Bowl, so I don't want to talk about it. Jackson Mahomes. Oh my God. Gosh, I feel like we don't hear this name anymore, man. Two years ago, it's all we would talk about on the meme pages. Jackson Mahomes arriving to Arrowhead Stadium. Stop. No. <laughs> Stop it. God, this thing's going to get taken. Yo. Yo, who's you? Oh my God, it's hilarious. Oh my God. Name anymore, man. Yo, yo, Two yo, years yo, ago, it's all we talk about on the meme pages. Jackson yo, yo, Mahomes yo, yo, arriving yo. to Arrowhead Stadium. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop it! God, this thing's gonna get taken down so early. Gosh, can you believe it, guys? This was the first game when the Kadarius Tony slander like really started. This week one game was so bad. Five targets, three drops, zero total yards, and one touchdown though for the Detroit. For the it's actually crazy how bad he was out there. This is just completely <laughs> unacceptable. This is so bad. No, dude. this is hilarious, bro. Like the way they be setting it up, it's about one TD <laughs> for the other team. Oh my. Come on, bro. Come on. Brian Branch, baby. And that was the start of a great season for Brian Branch. Yeah, this pass to Kadarius Tony resulted in a pick six against Mahomes. This was actually my first NFL memes. And this was the thumbnail. I used this as the thumbnail, which is so insane. Chris Collinsworth coming out of the booth next time Kadarius Tony drops a pass for Mahomes. Yep. Good. <laughs> Tell him. Mm. Kadarius Tony when Mahomes throws his way. <laughs> <laughs> It's my favorite meme. Me? Gotta start using that one again. Somebody please step up without Kelsey. I'm not going to. So quit asking. Mahomes has Skinner's Tony wide open. <laughs> <laughs> Giants fans watching Therese no. Tony. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. Okay. Shannon Sharp was born to be on TV, bro. Oh my God, this aged so poorly. So here's everybody talking smack about Mahomes after he loses that week one game to the Lions. Look at Jake Flowers 31 weeks ago. This guy's a genius. Delete this. I want this to happen, but if you talk trash, then he's just going to go win another Super Bowl. Oh my God, he called it. This is so funny to go back to. Nick Wright tatted himself saying, never a doubt that the Chiefs will go 20 and 0 and they didn't even make it to 1 and 0. I believe this and I will prove it to you, bro. Tatted on my arm as of this week. <laughs> I, I promise you that this is just for TV, that it's not a tattoo. Yeah, that's right. not a real tattoo. Never Regardless, they didn't go 20 and 0, but they did win the Super Bowl and he called that, so whatever. Nick Wright's wife yeah, seeing her dumbass husband's tattoo. I did not do that, boy. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> they always say that. That's the first thing they say. I got a bunch of dumb shit on my arm, too. It's okay, Connor. No regrets, baby. Dak Prescott seen Patrick. See, I think, though. honestly, bro, because I see a lot of, like, as long as your tattoo's not on your face, 
you know what I mean? On your neck, all of your neck. Now nah, that's unpresentable, bro. Let's be honest, bro. You got fucking thug life on your eyebrow and shit. How are they gonna ch- try to recruit you as a job? Come on, bro. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Now tattoos on your arms, you can cover it up. Um, you just have to always cover it up. And honestly, too, it's almost like why do y'all associate bad things with tattoos, anyways? Like, why is that the the, the stereotype? You know what I mean? Now, yes, bad people do wear tattoos, but that don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's like saying everybody who wear the color red is bad. So some people gonna want. Sometimes when somebody make a bad mistake, they gonna wear red. You know what I'm saying? Now, now everybody who ever wear red, I bro, no. Dude, it's okay, Connor. No regrets, baby. Dak Prescott seen Patrick Mahomes throw a big chase before him. That's all I needed for him to do that, and it it became personal with me. Uh, he's up oh, for him. All Chris oh, Collinsworth when Mahomes that's moves that's a millimeter. One hundred. Oh, 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 what do you think this guy's up to, God? Bro, hey, 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 that's not like you didn't just. Put that, 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 that. Yo! One hundred glizzies! I wonder what this guy's up to. What do you think this <laughs> yo, 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 first of all, let's go to the video. We'll get to you later, MMG. Who's a millimeter? One hundred glizzies! I wonder what- Is this where the AI shit was going on? I think it was. Oh, I got to say I did glizz. Hey, yo, bro. No diddy. No what diddy, do this guy's bro. up to? What do you think this guy's up to? Yo. Guys, bro? The refs when they couldn't win the game for Mahomes. Too great. <laughs> Sir. Tough. You trusted me. Jared Goff to Patrick Mahomes. I still own you. I still own you. We would have owned him in the Super Bowl too. It's crazy. Keeps getting hurt after an award-winning season. White Jerry Rice. Please Yo. date my daughter. <laughs> Yo, the Kenny the Pickett hell? sophomore breakout year is here. It's literally just a low light. It's a low light. <laughs> 199 yards of total. Bro, I was thinking about ready to see some low lights, bro. That's going to be so funny. Oh, my God. I feel like, yeah, we got to do that. Hold on. Let, me, let me revive myself real quick, bro. Hold on. I got to, bro. I remember looking at this like a, a minute ago on TikTok. Yo, low lights is hilarious. That's 2-1. Oh literally just a low light. It's a low lights, isn't it? 199 yards of total offense to 1. That in and of itself is a meme. Damn, this was on the whoa. NFL broadcast. Patrick Peterson said he'd fuck? intercept Brock Wait, Purdy uh, to- Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all ain't got one yard the whole game? No, that's gotta be fake, bro. That has to be fake. It's no way. In and of itself is a meme. It's this no was on way. the NFL broadcast. Patrick no Peterson way. said he'd intercept Brock Purdy today. He allowed three touchdowns instead. <laughs> ain't no talk shit. When I get my pick Sunday, we'll talk about it. That's what I like to hear. We talked about him. Debo Samuel came into camp in great shape. Brandon <laughs> fucking looking to build off of his career. Oh, he got cooked. He got cooked so bad that this ball's late as hell. This ball is so yeah, late. Well, and it didn't matter. Ah, he was and then he just got lost straight up. That's a beautiful ball. That's tough defense, though. That's just a better catch and a better ball. And, I mean, you can't really blame him on that one. That's McCaffrey. But I get what you're going for. Patrick Peterson and his daddy. Oh, Yo. <laughs> this is, like, my favorite meme of the entire Yo. season. This one. This is my favorite one. Let's um, let's just watch this a couple a couple times. Yo, he got a... This one even a, that give the camera even a raise. Not about I'm rock hard at this point. Also, give the booth production a raise. The booth production could have easily panned off this. They could have just switched to the camera guy that's paying in her front. Uh-uh. He said, camera one, you don't move a goddamn inch. You better sit there and shut up and don't even think about switching. No! Uh, no! Yes! <laughs> yes! No! Just toss the Giants jersey, <laughs> tough. Giants fans, please God, let this be the year we beat Dallas. <laughs> Daniel Jones to the Giants front office after signing the contract. Hey, good doing business with you. <laughs> 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 Who do you think you are? I am. Woo! I gotta say, I think the Cardinals are worse than the Giants right now. I think they are. Maybe this upcoming season might change it up, but you know. The fate of the Jets season now rests on the shoulders of this man. Yo. And how well did that pan out? I've been really trying. 
Wait, Although I'm gonna be honest, if you're a guy in high school and you don't have a, a video that's similarly, you know, sus, I don't know what to tell you, man. We all had this moment. Yes. A similar event. Hang on, wait. What did you say? You know. Although I'm gonna be honest, if you're a guy in high school and you don't have a, a video that's similarly, you know, sus. See, I ain't gonna lie. Whoa. Uh, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. See, now I understand the sus shit because that was it was at a moment in time in high school it was like normalized. You know what I'm saying? Um. <laughs> And this thought was funny, bro. But I would, I was always catching my friends doing some shit. It was like that. I was, I was never the, bro. I remember this one time, bro. Is this, this is so ao, bro. But my friends, bro, my football, specifically football friends, bro. They play so much. The football team plays so much, bro. So tell me why. In the locker room, we'd be changing for a game or for practice, right? You know, everybody be walking around. It's just a crowded. You know, if you, if you ever been in a locker room, you know how it is. Tell me why, bro. Niggas was outside. I mean, niggas was in the locker room pulling their pants down, bro. If you got, cause say you could be you on your phone. I remember specifically, I was on my phone. This was right before game day. I was on my phone. I was trying to charge my phone next to the wall. I was looking. I was looking this way, and all I feel is my pants. And I, that day, that's it's, it's crazy. That day, I didn't wear drawers. I didn't. I didn't wear drawers. It was that one day I didn't wear drawers. <laughs> niggas pulled my pants down. I'm like, what the fuck? Bro, what is wrong with they, And then niggas laughing and shit. Like, bro, if y'all don't get y'all okay at, like, bro, what is wrong with me, bro? Uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. We what all had this wrong? moment. Yes. What Similar event did you Exactly. What is wrong? Before Monday Night Football. Humbled. <laughs> and humiliated. Her, how long can you last? Best movie of all time, too, right there. Best movie of all time. I can't even last this long. This is like the one. I'm done. Boom. Right there. I'm a goner. How long can you last? <laughs> and said, how long can you last? It's like the one. I'm done. Boom. Right there. I'm a goner. This is Hank Wilson and Aaron Rodgers. This is not an accurate comparison at all, actually. It's not even remotely close. The Jets fans watching themselves buy Aaron Rodgers jerseys. <laughs> Hey, if you kept it, you still got it for this season. Tom Brady has the opportunity to do the funniest thing ever. It would have worked better for him. Would have worked a lot better for him. Bears fans, we're finally free from Aaron Rodgers' dominance. Jordan Love. Thank you. Titan has freed us. Oh, I wouldn't say free. More like under new management. <laughs> It's so perfect, too, because Jordan Love's actually so good. Transfer of ownership. Granter Aaron Rodgers grantee Jordan Love. On this day, the grantor <laughs> agrees to transfer ownership of the Chicago Bears to have and to hold Yo, to set grantee fuck? and their successors forever. That's a very official document. The Packers producing Hall of Fame quarterbacks. Yeah. I don't ever want to hear shit from a Packers fan. You guys hopped from Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers to now Jordan Love. Like, yeah. every franchise is supposed to have that five, six year gap where you just bounce around dog shit quarterbacks. You should have had to have it too. It's messed up that you didn't. Bears fans when their team is losing 40-0 to Justin Bieber. <laughs> this is perfect, dude, because now they got Caleb Williams. You know? Oh my god, do you guys remember this game? Oh my this play resulted in a sack. Now, listen, playing like the, the camera view quarterback is what? stupid. And I said that same thing during this meme, but yeah, this is when I really started to be like, uh-oh, Justin Fields. Uh-oh, Justin Fields. I don't know, man. You might be ass. Justin Fields brain, he has time in the pocket and wide receiver is open. Look at this fucking video. Here comes Justin Fields to win the game and prove all his doubters wrong. Justin Fields throwing a screen pass. <laughs> Bro. Really my favorite fucking clip. Chase Claypool when the Bears lose, but he got his touchdown. Oh, I forgot at this point he was still a bear. He was still a bear, then he got traded to Miami for like the 32nd pick and he hadn't done shit. It was a horrible trade. Oh, we love it. <laughs> This aged so poorly. Dude, after this, I need to do an NFL memes that aged poorly. This is a perfect one. Shanur Sanders? It's Caleb Williams, baby. Ohio State quarterbacks are now 0-6 this season. This aged poorly, too. CJ Stroud won offensive rookie of the year because he's a dog. Okay, didn't age that poorly, though. Burrow got hurt. He's not really an Ohio State quarterback, either. He's an LSU quarterback. Let's be real. Baker Mayfield on the Buccaneers. Hey, that one aged well. He did play well. Ooh, this one was my favorite. I love this. This was what, like, probably the first game where people were really looking at Bijan Robinson, like, holy shit, this guy really is the real deal. I mean, most people kind of already know. Like I said, we're going to try to make a video. Uh, I'm going to check out all the players. Um, I mean, I, 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 what I was thinking was, I was just going to make a video 
on every single player. Like, you know, because of, like, a now of now. But I'm like, bro, I might as well just make a, a long video on all the players. You know what I mean? So let me know in the comments the top players of now. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the names I've heard of. Like, I heard of B. John Robinson, but I haven't seen his highlights. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to check out everybody just in, like, an hour-long video. You know what I mean? So I get my NFL knowledge up. So y'all can comment down the players y'all want me to react to. I got y'all. That, but this juke was so viral. Drake London versus Jair Alexander. This is the most drunk no I've ever seen an NFL player look. <laughs> the Packers only need one yard for first down. No, bro, what the hell is this? This what is the, the most is drunk this? I've ever seen an NFL player look. What? The Packers only need one yard for first down. No way, this has to be a skit, right? This has to be a skit, right? Dude, Nobody like, falls bro, like so this. Stupid, this that has to be a bro. skit. Why else would someone be filming that? That's a skit. Arthur Smith when he accidentally calls a passing play instead of his 35th run in a row. Maybe he's gonna try to draw them. Dude, Arthur Smith may have been shit, but he, he made for some good memes. Arthur Smith going for it on fourth down while already in field goal range down two. You're gonna say the same shit about, uh, huge hoodie upside camera. down. Instead of trousers. Darn it, I want to see the Bijan gym. Okay, I got to see it. I got to see it. Yo, they got right, the, this might get the whole video oh, taken down because the NFL's a big, gigantic Chill. pussy, but let's see if we can find like a, a clip in clip. NFL don't take me down. I love you. This is the juke I'm talking about. I think no, we should be straight. Hey! Hey! You know what's funny? This is actually not the juke I'm talking about. I don't know what game it was in. <laughs> Embarrassing! <laughs> the Chiefs MVP tonight and Patrick Mahomes. You know what I love about this meme? This is a timeless meme. You yeah, could real. pretty much post this meme at least five times a year for the next 10 years. Wait, and is it this real though? This is No, no, it's not real. That's not real, obviously, because he got the... Uh, yeah, this is not real. It's not real. It's not real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it looked real though, bro. Like it will still much post this meme at least five times a year for the next ten years, and it will still be accurate. So long as Mahomes doesn't get traded, you might have to do a jersey swap, right? Like if he ends up on a different team at some point in his career, you'll have to do a jersey swap. But it's still pretty accurate. Oh boy, yeah, this is uh, this is week three. This is when it all began, gentlemen. We had the best day with you today. Chiefs are two and zero as Swifties. I don't even want to go down this rabbit hole. That is a stain what? on this year, man. We talked way too much about Taylor Swift this year. Just get me out of here. Here's serious? when people finally started to wake up to CJ Stroud. This is the CJ Stroud apology form. I think my favorite get out of the memes are you. Twitter conspiracies. Because there's no way to prove it. There's no way to prove it, right? Here's Dan Robbins. Danny Football 77. Following nobody. So he doesn't even get shit in his own feed. He has to go out and search for it. This page has a Steelers hat as its profile picture. Religiously defends Matt Canada and the email is ma star 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 at s blank 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 dot com Matthew Canada at Steelers dot com now normally I'd say like yeah whatever conspiracy theory this conspiracy theory that but there are so few email addresses that start with an s I'd strongly believe that this was actually Matthew Canada on a burner Twitter account right let's take a look at some of their tweets so Blitzberg tweets out Kenny Pickett might not be it but we won't know his full potential till he gets a real offensive coordinator Matt Canada is certainly not helping him out in his development Dan Robbins what does he have to say about that well and then when the next guy doesn't magically turn him into Patrick Mahomes He'll be cast away too. Yeah, Matt, I don't think anybody was thinking Kenny Pickett was Patrick Mahomes. We're just thinking you're dog shit. And maybe Kenny Pickett <laughs> is too. No way in hell I'm giving up on Pickett. Get the kid an offensive line and a better offensive coordinator. Well, I hate to break it to you, Jared. They did give up on Kenny Pickett. It's Russell Wilson and Justin Fields now. But they also gave up on Matt Canada. So the O-line is an excuse for Kenny's struggles, but the OC is expected right, to turn bro, water like, into... Like you would think if somebody has a burner account... They'd just be on there, just lurking. That's what a burner account is. Why would you be commenting? And then you make it so obvious. You got like, come on, bro. Come on, come on. Come on, yo. To wine makes sense. I think it's so like obviously a burner because who the hell else would religiously defend an offensive coordinator? Like most NFL <laughs> fans, even just casuals, like they don't know the depths of the NFL. Most people just blame the quarterback. So right. to be defending the offensive coordinator on a burner, it's pretty fucking obvious that you're <laughs> the offensive coordinator. George Pickens That's is a superstar is on any other team with a competent offensive coordinator. And then he goes ahead and says, George Pickens has had 30 targets through four games. Canada gets 
gets him involved, get your facts straight. Wow, shocker. I guess Matt Canada must have possessed the quarterback to throw an interception. A better ball, and that's a game-changing play. Yeah, it certainly doesn't help that every single tweet he's ever made is in defense of Matt Canada. So he's right. either Matt Canada's wife, or it's Matt Canada. I watched Pittsburgh offense dominate in Oakland, do enough in Cleveland. San Fran and Houston are juggernauts that the Steelers met at the wrong time. Not much they could have done yesterday. What an insane cope. You just called Houston a juggernaut. I like Houston. I think they're a good oh, yeah, team. Right. To call the Houston that. Texans a juggernaut the is hell? absolutely insane. You yeah, are delusional. Bro, you gotta you say, though, about? when hashtag Fire Canada is trending on Twitter, you gotta feel for the guy a little bit. Fire Fitchner, Fire Haley, Steeler Nation found a new scapegoat. Nobody knows the names you're dropping. You have too much knowledge. You're so obviously <laughs> Matt Canada. Who the fuck is Fitchner and Staley? Unless you're a very dedicated Pittsburgh uh, Steelers fan, you no. don't know those names. <laughs> This is so obviously Matt Canada. Matt Canada no, calling the facts, exact though. same play that's on Facts, though, bro. Facts, facts, facts. Oh my God, that's funny. Don't know that's those bad. names. This is so <laughs> obviously Matt Canada. Matt oh Canada calling the exact same play on second and 16 as he does on fourth and one. I gotta say, if you're an NFL coordinator, or you're just in the NFL, you're in a professional football league, and it's fourth and one, and you're not running the ball, I just like so strongly disagree. If you can't earn a yard in the trenches, you're gonna lose the game anyway. You better go get that damn yard on the ground. You need a yard. Fourth and three, okay, you can pass it. Fourth and two, and you're going for it, Pro you probably still can pass it. You could run it too. Fourth and one, you better run that damn football. If Jalen Hurts can QB sneak for one and a half yards on average, you can run the damn ball. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, like, this is the exact moment that we should have known that the Cowboys were fraudulent. This is when we should have known. We should have known. We should have known. I think I remember I'm sure this. a lot of people knew. I am delusional about the Cowboys every year. I really think they're good every year. The Texas Rangers outscored the Dallas Cowboys today. Well, somebody in Texas was doing something. That's good. Wow. Dak is ass. That's right. actually crazy. No, 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 no. That's crazy. It's no way, bro. Can you know how many points this is in baseball? How do they get more points than y'all? Y'all go by seven. The Dallas Cowboys today. Well, that's somebody tough. in Texas was doing something. That's good. That's Dak tough. is ass. Right? Can I say on TV? Because he is ass. He ass. talking okay. about, can I say that on TV? What the heck? Honestly, can I? Yeah. Right, can I say on TV? Dallas Cowboys Yo, today. Well, fuck? somebody in Texas was doing something. That's good. Dak is ass. Right? Can I say on TV? Because he is ass. Can I say whatever you want on TV? Okay. Ah! Honestly, cannot Yo. believe you said that on TV. Yo. Such a legendary clip. Trey Lance, after Yo. lying about the 49ers plays and signals to get Dak matched. <laughs> <laughs> the Cowboys, when they have to play a real team and not four of the worst teams in the NFL. Dak Prescott right, with the opposing exactly. quarterback is in Daniel Jones, Zach Wilson, or Mac Jones. Yeah! Wow! I'm ending this off with the Christmas memes. The Christmas memes are probably some of my favorites. Dude, the kids' AI crying to the jerseys they got, definitely one of my favorites. See, this is the type of stuff there. for AI is, is cool. You know what I'm saying? But when y'all start making the weird shit with the AI, it's like, all right, bro, what the fuck weird? At, how do y'all even, like, what is the prompt you put in? Like, I just want to see the prompt. That's going to show me how dedicated you are to trying to make this AI shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, this right here is cool. I think it's another one we've seen. I think it was like everybody, it was like a couple of football players watching Tua shit on the field. He he shitted, he shitted his pants. And it was on the field and everybody was watching it. I'm like, bro, what type of weird at? Like, bro, yo. Come on, it's tough. This is a whole Christmas movie and they're still glazing Mahomes. He was, and he has to get around the hands. He wanted to throw that looked a little Mahomey. <laughs> that looked a little Mahomey. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, I, I always wonder that. this for like for like the commentators. Do you think that there's somebody in their ear telling them what to say? Like, is there somebody in their ear kind of yapping at them, saying, "Hey, like talk about Patrick Mahomes. It's good for ratings or something." Or do you like did he really just like free ball that? Because why would you say that? You really think the fans I'm to it again. like the Mahomes are back to It's tough. This is a whole Christmas movie, and they're still glazing Mahomes. He was, and he has to get around the hands. He wanted to throw. That looked a little Mahomey. That looked uh, a little uh, Mahomey. What the hell was that? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Was, was this a commercial? How was they talking over a commercial? Wait, or a movie? I'm confused. I think this might be, I think it might have been one of the things where a pop-up, but the game about to start. You know, I know how to be playing ass, but the game's still about to start. I think this this is <laughs> what it was. He was, and he had to get around the hands. He wanted to throw. That looked a little Mahomey. <laughs> that looked a little Mahomey. Say all that. Because why would you say that? You really think the fantasy football playoffs are more important than Christmas? And I'm tired of pretending it's not.
I do. Get her a Christmas gift that will Whoa! Patrick Mahomes <laughs> giving Kadarius Tony his Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> but I poisoned the milk to catch Santa and I Yo 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 yo, yo. <laughs> Why is it so funny because it's slow motion though There's still a But I poisoned the milk to catch Santa and I find my dad laying on the kitchen floor Santa killed my dad <laughs> oh, Santa making sure that kids in poor areas get proportionately cheaper because... Stop! Whoa, okay. I'm gonna fix this one for you. Please don't make fun of children who still believe in Santa. I know grown men who still believe in the Dallas Cowboys. Gronk, did you have a seizure riding this, buddy? What are we doing up here? Why does Dak Prescott look like he's about to fight me for a Turbo Man action figure? He does look so much like that guy. Santa in 1865 when he found out he had to switch to elves. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those are my favorite NFL memes of the year. I hope you whoa, guys Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, hold on. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What the? Whoa, my For a God. Turbo Man, are you actually, serious? He does look so much like that guy. Santa in 1865 when he found out he had to switch to elves. Okay, okay. This is, okay. Hey.